Howdy. Back for more. Uh, in the process of uh, showing all the pickups that I have this week, that I had this weekend. And uh, got so much stuff to show and in the mood to make the video. So this is video number four. And um, this one's uh, similar to the last video. It's CDs and vinyl. And I'm eating some trail mix here. If you ever had this trail mix, this stuff's like really addictive. It's the it's the mountain trail mix. So better sit that down or I'll eat the whole bag while I'm on while I make the video. Mmm, trail mix. So as I'm chewing, first thing I'll show. Well, first thing I'll say is. If you didn't watch my last three videos, went to Nashville this past weekend and met up with <clears throat> B-Sides, Jenny, and Dave, her husband, Dead Eye 83, and um, they showed us around. We went to a few places before we met up with them, and then they showed us around, and then went to a few other places. But <clears throat> one of the first places they took us to was a place called McKay's. And it's a uh, used uh, records, CDs, video games, DVDs, books uh, place. And this place is super huge. It's like a big warehouse full from, from floor to ceiling, you know, with everything like that. And uh, I found so much stuff there. Uh, we actually didn't get to go through the whole entire place, but we, we went through, or at least I went through the majority of the vinyl, not all of it, uh, and then went through the CDs, sort of skimmed through. Not as thorough as I'd like to be, because I'm sort of that way when I go somewhere. I started A and go through Z, so but we had other places to go, so you know I, I couldn't spend all day there. Well, I could have, but, you know. So anyway, some of the stuff I picked up while I was there. I'd showed some of it in a previous video, but this stuff I got, too. This is William Shatner. It's called Has Been. This is one of his solo albums that uh, he did a few years ago. It's not the most recent one, but it's uh, right before that. And how could you not like William Shatner? I mean, Star Trek fan or not, his um, spoken word singing type music is the best. Uh, this is a group called Ten Years and the CD is called Division. This was actually someone else that I I thought it was a different band excuse me than what it is but nonetheless I'm still going to check it out and more than likely I'll like it. This is another one here this is Oriental Belly Dancing and uh, you know I'm, I always gravitate towards things that are not mainstream and that's definitely I mean it might be, be mainstream in the country it originated from it's uh, Turkish so can't wait to listen to that too uh, this is something I I really am into Sergio Mendez and this was the one of the recent compilations that came out uh, with uh, other people doing his music and the majority of this on here if not all is done by Will I Am and the Black Eyed Peas, doing Sergio Mendez material, uh, and I think maybe Sergio Mendez might even participate on this, so that ought to be interesting. Uh, these next three I purchased at a, a place uh, I showed the this in the last video. This was the name of the place. Where's the camera? Right there. If you can see that it's a. Uh, Ernest Tubbs record shops. Uh, I picked up uh, String Bean from Hee Haw. 22 early Star Day recordings. How could you not love String Bean if you're a fan of Hee Haw at all? Hee Haw! Hee Haw! You know. So, that's some good stuff. Uh, this one is Hillbilly Bop Boogie and Honky Tonk Blues Volume 4 from 1956 to 57. This is a two CD set. Uh, and this one is 
got all kinds of stuff there. A lot of this I'd never even heard of the, the groups, let alone the songs. So be wanting to check that one out. And it was hard to make a decision on what to buy there because they had all the old classic country. This is another version of this, another volume rather. Hillbilly uh, Bop Boogie and Honky Tonk Blues from 58 to 59, volume 5. You know, and it's probably a good thing that they didn't have all the volumes there because that would have just made it harder for me to decide. And I, being such a completist on certain things, I probably would have bought all of them and... You know, so and this was another place that we went to. Um, I don't have the flyer handy. Or I'll just mention it. It's a place called Cooter's Place, and it uh, had the General Lee down there and uh, Cooter's uh, tow truck. It had Daisy's Jeep, uh, Roscoe's police car, and. Uh, all the memorabilia and all the souvenirs that you'd want to get pertaining to Dukes of Hazard. That was a really awesome place. And then next door to that was uh, Willie Nelson's um, Willie Nelson and Friends uh, gift shop and museum, which they had all kinds of good stuff there too. Uh, that's where I purchased this shirt, this Nashville shirt. So um, that alone was cool enough. But then we went to the um, Country Music Hall of Fame after that. And uh, that was extraordinary. Um, you know, it starts chronological pretty much in the order of the history of country music all the way up to the current stuff. And it's like most museums. I mean, they had the instruments and the, um, they had handwritten lyrics and the, the outfits and stuff that was worn. They even had El Elvis's uh, solid gold Cadillac there. So... How could you not like that, you know? I took more pictures than my phone would hold almost, so. Um, anywho. I still see that bag of uh, trail mix down there calling my name, but I'm not going to mess with it. At least till I finish this video. Because it's probably quite annoying to be chewing and talking at the same time. Not to mention it's not easy. Uh, so all these other records that I'll be showing are from, well, I'll mention where I got them at as I'm showing them, if I can remember, but the first one that I'll show, if I don't knock the camera over, is, uh, like, really organized here. First one I'll show is uh, the Smokey and the Bandit 2 soundtrack, uh, and it's sort of a coincidence that, uh, that I found this at all. Actually, I think Jenny found this one for me. Um, because they had the Smokey and the Bandit car, the Trans Am, at the Country Music Hall of Fame. So, that even made me want to get get the soundtrack, excuse me, <clears throat> even more than I would have otherwise. Plus, I'd never seen it before, so. Um, then, uh, my girlfriend found this in the dollar bin. Actually, their, a lot of their records in the clearance section was less than, than a dollar. This one was 50 cents. Rusty Warren. Which this was one of hers that I didn't have. So there's that. Uh, this one I bought strictly for the cover. How could you not love it? It's um, Jesus Be the Lord of All, the New Dawn Trio. It's, uh, don't get any better than that, does it? Uh, this one is uh, Tomita Firebird. This is instrumental music. Uh, looks like on the Moog synthesizer there. I had a couple others of his, picked that one up, and then I picked this one up. This one's called Cosmos, and this is a gatefold with the arm of my chair in the way. So that makes, I think I have four of his now. That one looks like it might be a little warped, but we'll find out. Nicolette Larson. I bought one of her most popular records not too long ago, and I liked it so much. It's like, I can't believe I didn't have that before, because I actually knew some of the songs. This record was 19 cents. I mean, that's just... Our thrift stores up here, I mean, they're almost always at least 99 cents for a vinyl record. Uh, this single here, Samantha Fox, Naughty Girls, and that has uh, three mixes of the song, and then I Surrender is on here too. Actually, it's three hot mixes. 
I want to get technical. This one, two. Samantha Fox. This one's Touch Me. It has uh, one, two, three, four mixes of that song, and then Drop Me a Line is one of the other songs. And Kat found these for me, too. And if I didn't get them, she was probably going to end up getting them. Sergio Mendez, one I hadn't seen before. It's an awesome cover there. This one's called Magic Lady. That's one of the later ones. Uh, Bruce Willis, The Return of Bruno. I remember the HBO special years ago. I thought it was um, pretty cool at the time, but now it's cool and strange. Uh, this one, uh, Kat found a copy, and then Jenny found a copy after that, and I ended up with this one. Adam Ant. Apollo 9. It's the Splashdown remix. That was really cool. The artwork on that one's really cool. That whole album is one of my favorites. Uh, Charity Church Mouse. I'm assuming this sounds like the Chipmunks singing Christian songs, I guess. Uh, this one is Charlie and the Pet Boys. Just the cover, I mean, that's just fantastic. Look at that. He's having a good time with his uh, blow-up doll. Uh, Super Bad, 20 original hits from original stars. It's KTEL record. I have volume 2 I showed not too long ago. So, to find volume 1, my life is complete. Can't wait to listen to that. It has some good funk and R&B on there. Uh, C.W. McCall, Wolf Creek Pass. I have a couple of his, but I don't think we've ever seen this one. And this is, you know, he's familiar for the song Convoy, if you're familiar from that from the 70s. But all his stuff that I've heard is good. Uh, John Conley Busted. I actually seen like three copies of this while we were out digging. I didn't have this one, but, you know, I love... John Conley. He's he's such an underrated country, classic country singer. Uh, Robert Maxwell. Uh, Let's get away from it all. His harp and orchestra. I have some Robert Maxwell and I really like him. That's such a good cover there. really like his music. It's very relaxing. Uh, this is uh, Israeli 83. I'm going to try to pronounce that. It's in, it looks like Arabic here at the bottom. I'm not positive, but I'm sure this will be just great to listen to. I don't know if it has a year on it. 1983, I would have guessed it would be a lot earlier than that. Uh, B.W. Stevenson, Lead Free. This is like my third or fourth B.W. Stevenson record. He's the one that had the hit with Maria years ago before Brooks and Dunn covered it. So this has to be good. And it's 51 cents. That's almost a crime. I mean, it, you know, I got the benefit from it, so hey. One Hammer. Uh, this one's called Escape from Television. Uh, it has the theme from Miami Vice on it, and it also has quite a bit of other tracks on there. And it's like instrumental. I guess it's like synthesizer that he plays, which he's also in that um, one, of, one version, I guess, of the Maravishnu Orchestra. I have some of their stuff, and the one with him on it is really good. The Bellamy Brothers is a two and only. And uh, I like the cover of this one, and there they are in a school bus in the back. This doesn't have, um, I know, I think, Wet T-Shirt is the only one I've heard. No, if I said you had a beautiful body, would you hold it against me? That's the single, but my favorite song from them of all time is Let Your Love Flow. It's like the best song ever. Great summer's uh, summer '70s song is what it brings back to me when I hear it. Uh, Blue Ridge Energy, just a great cover. Probably not a great album, but nonetheless, Ten Cents is worth the picture and the cover alone. Those guys look really happy there. They have Blue Ridge Energy. That's what makes them look like that. And the last one I'll show in this round is Marshall Crenshaw. Someone showed this briefly or recently, briefly on Facebook, and I had his other one with Someday Some Way on it. Uh, I don't know which one was first. This might be the first album out of those two. There's the sleeve, and that must be a school that he went to. I don't know. It's called Field Day. It's going to be the album. 
So anyway, that's all my stuff from my my three days of adventure this past weekend. And um, had a VC meetup and got some VCLT and made some new friends, had some good times. Uh, we'll definitely be making another trip back, hopefully sooner than later. And uh, going through everything a little more thorough and maybe covering some other things. You know, like Third Man Records wasn't enough. We got to go to all these other places. And um, it just sort of ran out of time, but that's what vacations are for. So you can go back. So if you like this video, let me know. Send some comments. And be jealous of some of the records I have, hopefully. I don't know if I have anything anybody's interested in trying to find on their own. But if you like uh, eclectic things... Just keep watching my videos because I've been known to be a little eclectic at times. So we'll see you next time. Ta-ta.